So, awesome. you know, let's chat about the top three questions that uh, either you get asked or you think someone should ask their real estate agent when they're getting started, you know, getting the ball st rolling and getting started in a transaction. Uh, sure, yeah, it's, um, it's almost cliche. Uh, the one you get all the time is, Brad, how's the market? And, yes. And it's almost like people are nervous to talk to you. They know you're in real estate, and so that's, it's, it's really interesting. But Brad, how's the market? Uh, so they always want to know kind of what's going on. Um, I think probably number two is, is how much can we sell the house for? Okay. Everyone generally understands that the market's been super, super hot. Yes. So they want to know what, what prices are going for and what they could get for their house. Um, and then one that I'm starting to get a lot is, you know, is it a good time? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to buy? I think people are also thinking, this is crazy. It's kind of been super hot for so long. And yeah. is it a good time to do something? Yeah, yeah. Let's actually talk about that, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, you know, I have the theory that it's always a good time, whether it's up or down. You just yeah. got to find the right opportunity, right? It's always a good time to, write, okay. to buy or sell. Um, you, you know, investors typically never stop buying. They might buy more in a down market, but they don't turn off their business, you know, for seven years in an up market. Yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts? Is it a good time? You know, I, I think on the retail side, the consumer side, it, it, rates are incredibly low. I don't know how they're doing this um, <laughs> no kidding. beyond my uh, pay grade and a lot of smarter people than me. But for some reason, they're able to keep rates you know, between three and a half and four percent, um, and pull those strings. So interest rates are super low. Um, so from that standpoint, yeah, it is a great time to buy something. Um, prices, we've been in a in a strong seller's market for ten years. Yeah. Now. Right. <laughs> and so you got to keep that in mind too. It's like, do I want to push that envelope on price? Um, but I think if you're moving horizontally, uh, you know, price for price. Um, and not being crazy about uh, taking down something too big, it's it's still a great time to buy. I agree, and you, in my opinion, you hit it on the nose with interest rates being so low. Yeah, I mean, it's not quite borrowing free money, but it's pretty close it, relative to history. It's crazy how low. Yeah. Yeah, and and what I think a lot of buyers don't understand, I'm sure a lot do, but there are a lot of buyers that I've run into that don't understand is when interest rates are so low, that gives them the ability to buy a more expensive house that they might be interested in mm -hmm. buying mm -hmm. uh, versus a less expensive house. You know, literally, depending on the interest rate, that will dictate what house they could afford mm -hmm. versus a three three interest rate versus a four interest rate. Right. So if you can lock in at a three interest rate, then that just changed the game for you on your affordability, your buying power for the same monthly payment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, I'm just thinking of this now as with the family a couple of days ago down in Orem, um, a husband, wife, three kids, and they had uh, her mom and his dad. It was a weird, weird situation living with them. <laughs> um, older, uh, but just cramped in this little house, three bedroom house. Oh, wow. Um, so six or uh, five or six of them in that house. And, and when we kind of walked through interest rates and what they could get right now, I mean, they could get you know, a three thousand square foot house for about the same payment um, across the across the way there in Vineyard. So yeah, it can really help a lot of people right now with interest rates so low. Absolutely, absolutely.